and welcome back to Maeve Actually Plays Fran Bo. Last episode, we rescued Mr. Midnight! So I can only imagine that now we're gonna start finding our way home. So let's see what horrors await us around the next corner. Hey, Mr. Midnight, I want to talk to you. We need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. So charming. Okay. Aww. Looking up at you. What a little cutie pie. He loves her. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Look at him! Oh, he's so cute! Alright. How do we get out of here, Mr. Toad? I did it, Sir Toad! The girls are gone! That is perfect! Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir! I finally found my kitty! I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how you will get out of here? There is no boat! That doesn't make a lot of sense. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny! Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. <sighs> moldable. Can I grow the toad? That's a terrifying idea that I don't like at all. We're still in the well. <gasps> oh! Doubters need the truth on paper. Hi there. What you doing? My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay. Rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. Okay. Well, let me see here. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Cozy and warm. Yeah. So... So I have no idea. Cool. I have book of matches, baking soda. Wait, what does that say? Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and beautiful. You know, this is a stupid idea, but I also know that this game is very whimsical. So what happens if I pour the baking soda on the toad? <laughs> I swear to God, if that's the right answer. I'm gonna piss myself. Well, shooky darn. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here goes. That was adorable. It worked, it really did! I'm so big and I feel gorgeous! Yas. Great, let's go! Come, Mr. Midnight! Sure, Fran! I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him! That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty! Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh, he found my picture. And this book was with it, too. Ooh. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. 
Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Why does he have so many teeth? Eh. Whatever. Oh my god. Look at this. Fucking Frogger. Okay, here we go. Whoop! It's like claymation. This is really cool. Oh no! I fucked it. Oh shit, there's more. Oh no! I fucked it! Oh, come on! Okay, there we go. Jump! Woohoo! This art style is so cute. I really like how they put all the different... No! Shit. Put all the different artistic styles into one, because, like, the maze was a paper cutout or something. It's very cute. You know what? That's fine. I did it. I did my all. Tried my all. Gave him my all. Whatever. Somebody over there. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's my time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Ran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy, and I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. The language in this is so charming. My dear. Kitty. Oh, hi. Oh, dear. A baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Why is there a skeleton but there's blood? I have questions. I don't think I want them to be answered. Oh, this looks good. Oh, it's them again! Hi! Sir, are you the curious insects that get stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. I don't like the one with the mouth. That's... Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Okay. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now, as I lick my asshole. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Uh, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. No! All right, Kitty, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. No, he's gonna... He's gonna fall. I... Okay... <laughs> Hi, Mr. Midnight. Let's keep going, okay? Fran, wait. Ah! I don't like- No! Fuck! Oh no! Why is she crying blood? Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore! I don't want to die! You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it! Jump! Alright, here I go. Uh, I got you! <gasps> Red, no! Don't 
Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, thanks for the metaphor. Oh. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. What? Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. Oh. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Will I? Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please, please. <sighs> okay. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Thanks, I hate it. Where's Fran? Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? She like poofed. Oh, it's a little kitty paw. Oh, that's cute. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be! What the fuck? What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, that night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Hello? Upka igni mehala. Kolke, kolke yigurumma pasgu haoleni. Igni jokle vanti. Oh no. <gasps> oh no! Ah! Be careful, sir! Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola, Koki. Hala. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Hala. Run, Igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hala. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hala, Igni, Vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. No offense, but what the fuck? Stop attacking my friend, Carrot! I can't really understand what you were saying. Fran's shoe! Okay... Did you find the purse already? I think this creature wants to kill me! Where is the purse? I have no idea, but do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one! Okay, I'll find it, my dear. I'll be right back. These are Fran's stockings. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Like, what the f- Do I have to leave? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, there it is. I see my friend's purse. Ah, okay. Knew it. 
And as soon as I walk away, yep. Okay. Well, I have seen similar mechanisms. They circulate. Thanks. Helpful. Okay. Um. This is a wooden boat. Thanks, Mr. Midnight. You are extremely helpful. Okay. Well, I need something to, like, prop it up. Oh, dear. I hope you found the purse already. I can't reach it. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Oh, dear. Do something. There is a bridge and lots of water, and the bridge won't work as needed. Huh. That's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. Well, do something so they won't roll on back then. And Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. Okay. Hey, can I borrow your stick? No. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. That's a shoe. That's a carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Well, I don't think there's anything to help me over here. There's like... Oh, hang on. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Okay. Use crystal with this. I'm not sure what to do with this. Okay. Can I bribe the carrot? Can I bribe you? An old vegetable sitting on a boat. No. What if I knock the purse off? Oh, wait, I didn't actually. Hmm. Right. I gotta use it. Walking vegetable. I won't do this. Okay. What about with Fran? It won't work. What about with you? No, think, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> It won't do this. No, I want to use it with Fran's purse. Fuck. With cogs. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Put it in there. There we go. Oh, I got the purse only because I'm the best. Yeah, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. Oh, now I can look at this. This is a mysterious book. I can't read it. Right, because I'm a cat, of course. Look at the, I love the little icon with the fangs. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Uh, huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Um... They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Do they? Okay, Ran, my apple. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galop, ma! Galop, ma! Oh, okay. Maybe they do want to help. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. Oh, good. Oh, well, this is pretty. I hate the tree with Fran's eyeballs. Hate it, but... Even by the men of taste bears, the iron a whole lot of them. Ich war ich dem Goschka im Itano Friol. Goschka is the arrow. Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yeah, well, you know me either. God, that fucking icon. Oh my god, stuff of nightmares. Yes, let me explain it to you. Oh, 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 don't need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. 
If time but a Christ, ecto, ecto, bro, ecto, prote. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You, can you see all that in the seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody, except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand. But can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. Of course. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? Oh, boy. You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king, the king of Etherstha. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are so pretty. So made a catnip. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Oh, great. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. We must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. If only it were that simple. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. <laughs> this is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need to fear, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Hi! Look at that razzle-dazzle boy. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? You get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. Okay. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. You were cute. Oh, look at you. Good day. My name is Balotras, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. 
Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human! I think we could get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Hey, I'm the beast! Let's go! My god, this is fucking weird. Oh, good. The Pepto-Bismol Fountain. Bye, friend! Soon you will be free of diarrhea. Here we are! Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you! This is my home! This is where I was born! The spirit of the great Volocus created it! It has the purest water in the whole universe! Oh, wow, that sounds amazing! Who is the great Volocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Ethersta, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Ethersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes! Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Polontris, sir, how? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well... When you travel to a thirst you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. <laughs> I can see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Hmm, yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. How do you feel, Fran from Atherstha? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves! I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean? Fix them? What's wrong with them? N nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had, and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. <laughs> Little tree Fran. It's very, um, spirited away. Here we are again. Show Ziar the king what a nice Atheristines you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. And that's where we're going to end for today, because that was a lot of dialogue, and my voice is tired. Huh. Well, not the, not the turn I was expecting, but uh, certainly a turn that happened. So my big question is, now how will Aunt Grace react to me now that I have a head full of leaves for hair? But... 
It'll all be resolved somehow, right? <laughs> ah, I'll see you guys next week. And in the meantime, I am Maeve, actually, and I hope that you have a very good day. Bye!